Hi, sweet friends. Welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. My name is Michelle, and my sister Cheryl and I welcome you to our channel. If this is your first time finding us, let me say welcome. If you're one of our returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for watching, and welcome back. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I hope that you'd consider giving us a follow, subscribing, and being a part of our YouTube family. We post new videos every Monday and Friday. Today's video is all about decorating my home for summer, and I'm going to finish decorating my living room. So if you missed the previous video, I will have it linked below where I've decorated part of it already. So be sure to watch that if you get a chance. Today I'm going to focus on this couch, coffee table, and another little side table that I have. So to get started, let's change up some of these pillows. I'm trying to incorporate more blue, so I'm going to take off this pillow right here and I'm going to add this really pretty blue check pillow. I love it. And who doesn't love a good pillow that will chop? Oh my goodness. To finish this look off, I'm just going to add this red pillow that is actually a pillow I use for Christmas. So that's another great tip. If you have any red decor that you could use from Valentine's, Christmas, pull that out and use it in your decor. I love how this has really changed the room with just a little simple touch. Okay, now let's concentrate on this vintage trunk that I use as a coffee table. I've just added some vintage old books and I've got three of these old store signs. I guess they were like prices that they used to set in the department stores. I love using these for picture frames, for quotes. They're just one of my favorite thing to use. So inside of these, I've just placed some scrap of paper and then I cut the letter U, S, and A out of more scrap of paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. They also have letters that you can buy that you can use or you can use your Cricut or Silhouette. Any of those options are great, but I love the way this turned out. I just think it's so pretty with the USA. Now I'm going to pull out this star tray that I have, which I've had, it's old, I've had it for several years, but it's absolutely one of my favorites. And on top of this tray, I am going to add more old books. If you don't have old books, you could use a riser, but I just like how this brings in some color and texture and just elevates uh, what I'm going to do next. I'm going to grab an old um, crock and I'm going to fill it with greens, just like I have done here. So. Basically what I did was just looked or shopped my home to find just greenery and white flowers. That was kind of my goal. I found some pretty accent pieces like this. I'm just gonna stick in there. But I didn't really have enough of one thing to really make a full bouquet out of just one set of flowers or greenery. So I just took scrap pieces that I had and filled it up. And I actually love the way it looks. I think the more greenery, the more interest. I just think it turned out really pretty. Okay, now to add my favorite part, these beautiful old vintage flags. I have three of them, and since this is sitting on my coffee table, I'm just gonna add the flags to one side, so that way it doesn't block all of the view. But you could certainly put one on each side and maybe one in the middle, but I'm just gonna stagger mine off to one side, and I actually really like the way this looks. 
Tell me what you guys think. Okay, let's finish decorating this tray. The next thing I want to add is just a candle. And this is a candle that I found at Pottery Barn years ago. I just love it so much that I just refuse to burn it. I don't know, do you guys have candles like that that you just want to keep forever? The next thing I want to add is this Bible. And if you've been with me for a little while, you know my love of vintage Bibles. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? And look at the little monogram. Oh my goodness, I can only imagine what precious child this little Bible belonged to. I think I'm going to open it up. And the only other thing I want to add is just this sweet number four. And this was just made from scrap wood that I had on hand, just tied with some rag ribbon. Okay, the last thing I want to do is just add some stars. And I just got crafty, took some scrapbook paper that I used to cut the U, S, and A out, and just cut out some stars. And I'm just going to place those on the table in various places. And I just love the way it looks. Okay, the last place I decorated was over here in this little side cabinet that I have. I just added some white flowers to the top, a rusty star, and um, I have this red stripe vase that I use for Valentine's. It's from Pottery Barn, and I just filled that with some lavender. The next thing I'm going to add is this old frog, and if you have old frogs, this is a perfect use for it. Take those and place the small little flags inside. I love the way this looks. I think it's so pretty. And another tip for you guys is if you have flags and they're being unruly, not laying the way you want, which some of mine need to be worked with, but you can spray those with water and kind of shape them into the place that you want and they will kind of dry like that and stay. You can also tea stain these to make them look old. It's just great. I absolutely love this. And guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I appreciate you watching. I hope that you'll stay tuned for next week's video where I will do my home tour. And after that, I'm going to do my sister's home decorated and do her home tour. So we hope you guys will come back and watch next time. The most important thing I can do is leave you with this Bible verse. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 Oh my goodness. This world, we have so many trials and situations that we were faced. 
but we can know and have comfort that God, our Savior, will always be with us. What a wonderful blessing. If you don't know the Lord, I pray you will come to know Him today. Guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye, guys.